Hello my amazing sexy mofos, really quickly before we jump into today's video, please let me know in the comments section if is if this is a PC hacker or if this is god mode, what is actually going on right now. I'm gonna replay the clip two or three times just so every single one of you can actually grasp on the situation. This was in a regular hardcore TDM and there were loads of players like this running around. Is it PC hacks? Because they are killing the Modern Warfare experience for us console players. Let me know how you feel about this down in the comment section below. But let's jump into today's video. We are doing a custom variant for the P90. It is called the PS90. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous variant of the P90. I'm absolutely in love with it at the moment. And I'm going to be showing every single one of you today how to create it. It does have a little bit of kick to it, I'm not going to lie. And judging going from an MP5 or an MP7, there definitely is a little bit of an adjustment to using a P90. But with a little bit of time, practice, this gun, just like the Dimaco, will be your best friend. Straight off the bat, to actually create this, you only need one attachment, and that for the barrel is the first barrel you unlock, the Forge Tac Retribution Barrel. Once you put that on, your P90 is now a PS90. You will now have four attachment slots to pick from. You can pick any attachments you want. I'd recommend as always a stripple grip, for the stock, the fly strap I would recommend, a nice little optic as well, just because I'm not too keen on the iron sight on the P90, when the recoil kicks in, I'd recommend the FSS ring sight or the GI mini reflex, and then for your last attachment I would recommend a suppressor or an underbarrel just for a little bit more recoil control but I do prefer a suppressor just to suppress my shots be a little bit off the radar still rushing being aggressive but at least everyone doesn't know exactly where I'm shooting from now this variant of the P90E is an absolute animal I'm just gonna be reading a little bit about the FNPS90 this is just a little bit of information I found about it online. The FNPS90 is a semi-automatic carbine variant of the legendary FNP90 intended for civilian shooters for personal protection and sporting use. It was introduced in 2005 and continues to be offered in several configurations. The FNP90 was developed in the late 80s as an attempt to satisfy a request from NATO to replace weapons, mainly handguns and submachine guns chambered in 9x19. The round that they came up with was the 5.7x28mm round, a bottled neck round desi designed to fire a light projectile at high velocity. It is a beast. Everything I've just said there, I'll have a link so link to so you can go read up about it, check little pictures of it. It looks a spitting image of it in real life. I do love the P90 going all the way back to my Call of Duty 4 days on the old school Modern Warfare. The P90 was always one of my favourite submachine guns and I just love the fact that I can obviously now create different variants of it for all of you sexy mofos. Now you might have your own P90 builds, um, you can obviously go with the heavy stock if you want to turn it into a carbine as such, or you've got your fly strap like I'm doing if you want high mobility just to be able to kind of rush, jump around like a crazy maniac, kind of dodging shots while you jump shotting everywhere. I do like my P90 for mostly mobility. That is why there is quite a lot of kick on this variant of the P90. I I could go obviously for an underbarrel like I did suggest earlier instead of your traditional suppressor just to keep yourself off the radar. You could do that, but I do prefer my suppressor. I need my stripple grip to aim down the sight a little bit quicker and the fly strap as well just for more mobility to get around a little bit faster and aim down sight a bit quicker. It does help as a submachine gun. I don't want to be posted up somewhere with an SMG. I want to be running around, I want to be rushing, getting in people's faces. 
You could essentially create the PS90 but have it as a post up build. You could change your fly strap stock to the heavy stock just to give yourself a little bit more recoil control. And then instead of a stripple grip, you could put on a granulated grip or an under barrel instead of a suppressor just to maximize recoil control and aim instability. Because I know the fly trap works against aim instability. The stripple grip works against it as well. So that's already two attachments that I could swap out for recoil control. But I do prioritize aiming down the sight speed a little bit more than recoil control for SMGs. For example, if it was a honey badger, an M4, a SCAR, an ORG, um, the ORG H-Bar variant, not the SMG version, the actual assault rifle version. I would prioritize recoil control and just aim in stability just to make sure I hit those shots because it is an AR. But for my submachine guns, I don't really post up like I said earlier. I like to rush, I like to run around with an SMG. If I was to use overkill for example, I would rock an M4 with the P90 for example, the PS90. That would be a nice little combination I think. You could post up somewhere with the M4, and then when you're being rushed by somebody, you could quick swap, quick swap to your P90, and you could just blitz them, mow them down in seconds. But let me know what you think of the PS90 down in the comment section below. I'm going to replay both of those clips from the beginning again, just for anybody that has stuck around to the end of the video. It just makes... Us, as speaking from somebody from the console community, it does feel like we are already at a disadvantage, but now it feels like we have to play with PC hackers just to play the game. But obviously, as console players, we don't have a mouse and a keyboard, we don't have higher sensitivity, we don't have god mode, we don't have aimbot. It feels like they're killing the game for us console players, they already have the advantage and now they have privileges of using hacks. It just, it does kill the game for us console players, the fact that we have to put up with it. But let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. And of course, let me know what you think of the PS90, but I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I love every single one of you. And I'll see you all in the next video.